You may have heard of Dokkan Battle and Dragon Ball Legends, but did you know there were other Dragon Ball games released on mobile phones earlier? Take for instance Dragon Ball RPG, released on smartphones in 2008. This game had a fighting style similar to that of Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Saiyans for the Nintendo DS, and initially featured the story of the original Dragon Ball Saga, split up into four parts. An updated version of the game was released in 2010, called Super Dragon Ball RPG. The game focused on the Saiyan Saga to the Majin Buu Saga. Early bosses included Tian, Piccolo and these sorts of characters, but also strange ones like Shadow Goku. And a fun fact for you, the key Goku art used for this game was recycled from Dragon Ball Origins 2. Recently, modders who were originally working on Attack of the Saiyans also found information on this game, such as these sprites. These have been recently uploaded to Spriter's resource. The next obscure Dragon Ball smartphone game was Dragon Ball Tap Battle, released in 2013 on Android and iOS. Now, I distinctly remember playing this game and it was weird, but it was also fun. Essentially the game worked by just tapping the bubbles on the screen, much like Dalkan Battle. By utilizing enough points you can do massive damage to your opponent. The game even featured a Bluetooth connection mode, so two people could fight. So much for multiplayer on Dokkan, huh? Unfortunately, being the type of game that it was, it only had 12 playable characters. But these included the generic roster, as well as Vegito as well, along with Bardock. Now here's a game I really didn't know about, Dragon Ball Ultimate Swipe. Basically, it was Tenkaichi Tag Team recycled onto Android and iOS devices. It was released in 2014 and was the third Dragon Ball mobile game. Much like Tap Battle, you have to time your actions in order to perform more damage, and stages could be actually bought with in-app purchases, which is really interesting. And another interesting thing is that Super Saiyan God Goku was in fact a playable character. What was very disappointing was the fact that there was only 4 stages and 8 characters playable, and it did not include Vegeta or any of the other Saiyans, just Goku, Beerus, Frieza, and some other random villain characters, including Android 18. I don't know how she made the cut but Vegeta didn't, but anyway. <laughs> there are a few features from all of these games that could really be useful in games such as Dokkan Battle now, and it was fun to play them at the time. I hope that future Dragon Ball Mobile games will have similar features to these, and perhaps the current ones now. What do you guys think of these games? Have you ever played them? Let me know in the comments below and have yourselves a good one.